Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Nest.js Prisma. Today we are going to learn building a CRUD REST API using the Nest.js and the Prisma and Postgres. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So in the last video, we have talked about the how to connect to the Postgres, Prisma, Nest.js. Now we are going to learn about the building a CRUD REST API using a Nest.js, Prisma and the Postgres. OK, so let's get started. So first of all, we have to install the Nest.js CLI globally. So make sure it should be installed and the node version I'm using currently it's 20. OK, so make sure you have to install that one or 16. But Nest CLI should be important. OK, then Nest new project, your project. So whatever is to be a project like currently we are using the Postgres. So make a Postgres project right now. OK, then install the Prisma globally and install Prisma also. OK. Then initialize Prisma in your project with Prisma in it. When you run this command, what will happen? It will give you this folder, Prisma Schema Prisma. So this will come into it. Okay. These two lines of codes will automatically come over here. Now we have to define the schema over here, right? So we have to define the schema in that one. Then you have to in install the Prisma client into your project. This is very important. Okay. After this, we have to define the schema. Why we define the model over here? Because this this gonna when we run the migrate command, then it will automatically generate the tables into our Postgres database. OK, so this is important. So whatever model you want to define, whatever tables you want to define into your database, you have to define the model over here. OK, so this is very, very important. Right. After this, we have to create a source in the source automatically generated when you create a Nest.js project, right? So in the source, we have to create a folder which name is Prisma and then we have to create a two, for, two files which name is Prisma module.ts and Prisma service.ts. In the Prisma service.ts file, we have to use the Prisma client to initi initiate the Prisma client over here because we have to use the queries of the Prisma. So this is very important. Then the Prisma module. So here we are going to use the import the Prisma services over here. OK, so this is the first step that we have to follow. After this, we have to go with the user section. So for that one, we have to go to our command line. So we have to create the folders accordingly. So nest generate module users, nest generate controller users and then nest generate service users. So we have in the users folder, we have we require module, we had required controller, we require service. So these three files we required. So we have to run this command to the term from the terminal. OK, so we have to run this right. After doing this, we have a users controller. OK, so here we have all the list of the APIs, right? So let's discuss step by step. <coughs> so here we have import controller, get post body param delete and the put request from the Nest.js common. Then we are using the user service. So here we are creating the service which interact with the database to pull out the data from the data tables, right? So here you can see we have created the user service right now. So here in the user service, what we have done, we are using the Prisma service to find many, find unique data, create a record, update a record, delete a record, right? Everything. So you can go to the step by step services. So let's go with the first one with the find all. So here you can see that we have a find all service, right? So here we go with the find all in this this dot prisma prisma client dot user dot find many because user we have a model, right? So user dot find many. So here we are finding all records. And if you want to find one, then you have to use find unique where id should be so here we have a find one method where we are using service it accepts the parameter id and it will find one okay next we have a post request that means create a record then here we have a create function and here we are using the whatever data we want to send we have to send inspective of the model you are using right then we have a update a record where id it requires the params and the data so it Prisma client dot user dot update will update your record. Then we have a delete record with the help of the delete function where ID should be params that we have to send. 
okay same methods we have created in the controller put method and the delete method okay so these two files important <coughs> done then we have a use module where we have to import the prisma and the users controller right so this is important then we have the last one that is app module.ts file where we are using the prisma module and the users module okay so this is done after this we have to run the two commands which we have already discussed first one is np sorry prisma generate okay so this will what what it will do environment variable loaded from the env and prisma schema loaded from the prisma schema right after this we have to run with the migrations prisma migrate dev okay so this is already because i have already run this command in the previous lecture so or already generated right so let's go to the let's run start the server npm run start okay so all the list of the apis we get into it so first we will go with the creator user so here we have the post request here you can see that we have the uh, we have already two records over here because we have already created let's create one record more so here we are using the crud api and uh, we can go with this test and let's try to send this and let's go and check this so it's there you can see the record is added next we have the get api so let's go and fetch all the data over here so you can see all the data is fetched right with the 200 status code now we are going to update our record so uh, let's update my record crud api so id is 3 okay so here i am going to update a record with crud api to test api okay let's have a look and send and let's go to the postgres pg admin and let's refresh this and here you can see i so what uh, we have mentioned with the crud api right no okay because we are using the put request right updating so yeah because sorry this is the get request of this id so whatever id we have third record so it printing the third record right it's a get request not the put request right so this is the record which we are fetching now we have a put request to update a record right so we have to make a put request to update a record so i'm going to change the username with the test api right so let's try to send and you can see it is changed into the test api and here i just mixed up with something okay here you can see the test api the test one okay so this record is updated now last one we have a delete request so let's delete this user so related let's go and check this one so view and edit all rows and it record is related so full fledged rest api crud rest api using the postgres nest and the prisma we have done any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section in the next video we are going to learn about the again uh, MySQL is done, Postgres SQL is done. Now we have left with the MongoDB. So how to set up or to connect with the MongoDB with the Prisma and the Nest? After this CRUD REST API using the Prisma, Nest, MongoDB, we are going to learn in the next two videos. Thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. It's very, very important for me. Not for you, but for me, it's very important. Okay. So thank you so much. Have a great day.